Hello everyone, um, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess trying to work out which pile of cards to use. Um, <laughs> I thought I'd do a love reading for singles while I had a bit of time. So after doing a pick a card reading, I thought let's do a singles reading. Um, people always say to me, when are you going to do something on new love or for us people who don't have people returning from the past, don't have uh, a relationship. So let's do a singles reading just for you. I'm going to pick you out a couple of Romance Angels cards and some Love Oracle cards before that one wants to come out. But we'll have a look at them when we're finished and that one wants to come out. You may have even seen what they were because one time I was doing that before and someone said, I could see what cards you're pulling out. I'm like, well, I couldn't. <laughs> so I have no idea. I like the element of surprise myself. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> okay. So I'll pick some from the Lover's Oracle as well. Okay. Oh, both of those want to come out. And they don't want to sit on my stand, which is helpful. I guess it's because of the funny shape of them. I might have to put them upside down. Okay, let's get on to your reading. good way to start <laughs> so we have the seven of swords coming out so the seven of swords is a card of trying to get away with something it's very much a card that uh it, it, if you have it in a relationship reading it can sometimes talk about someone ghosting you or someone sort of moving away from you without giving you a reason why um in this particular reading, I'm feeling that it's very strongly about perhaps you have had relationships in the past where you've had people who perhaps weren't always honest about their feelings, maybe were a little cold, kept their feelings to themselves and really didn't sort of share this passionate stuff with you here. Um, you know, sometimes people aren't able to express themselves very well. Uh, and they can leave us feeling a bit like we don't have that close connection. Um, and maybe this has just been the way things are. I feel that with the dog here, you may have been dealing, oh, well, we could have been dealing with dogs. <laughs> that has to be said. Um, it could be that you've been dealing with, with people who've been very sort of uh, sitting very much in their masculine energy, which sort of implies that you've been dealing with people who have very strong egos. Um, and there's a feeling here that perhaps you didn't really get the type of relationships that you crave. So look at you all single and ready to mingle. Um, Nine of Pentacles coming out. Aren't we ready for love now? Uh, this is very much about sort of being in the right place. Although she does look a little unhappy, I don't think she is. I think it's just her maybe resting bitch face. Um, because she is. She's the Nine of Pentacles. She has everything she wants. She doesn't want for anything. She has enough money. She has enough energy. She has enough of her own love. But I feel like here she's just looking for that extra sort of energy here. And look what we have. It's a little da-da. <laughs> we have the energy of the lovers coming through. So this is something she's craving, but it's also something now that she's manifesting because it's coming into her energy. When I say her energy, I'm talking about males as well, because I know there'll be males watching this um, this uh, reading. The, the thing is, <laughs> the cards show males and females, so you tend to sort of say it because it was there. Believe me, I'm not in the slightest bit sexist. I don't have any problem with anybody at the best of times. So no, it's just that sometimes I see a female on the card and I just run with that. This is about a union that is bought, being brought together via the universe. So you're not waiting, you know, um, in sort of forever here for something to come your way. Something is being brought your way. 
Um, but I feel like you had to sort of attain this energy first and you weren't going to attain this energy until you started to understand what you were doing wrong in relationships before. Um, and when I say doing wrong, I don't always mean you've done something wrong, but you may have been picking the wrong people for you or you may have been getting into situations with people who weren't right for you, the right type of people. So I feel like, you know, you've done the work on yourself and you're feeling like you are ready now to perhaps branch out and, you know, move in a new direction because you're coming up as this lovely energy here. And I feel now the universe is ready to move something towards you here. Um, there seems to be some sort of cycle that needs to close out, but obviously that energy is already there. So they're asking you to close out some sort of cycle because you have someone coming in who could possibly be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces of Scorpio. But, you know, you've got to give credit to this person. This is a person who is comfortable with their feelings. They're not always the most expressive person, but they are not cold. They're very loving and kind. They very much the father energy. This is a person who's learned to work with their emotions. They're not overly emotional and they don't hold them to themselves. So we're talking about someone here who's very, very comfortable expressing them, their emotions. Very different to the people that you've probably been dealing with in the past who've tried to get away without expressing how they feel or not been in touch with their emotions. All right, so that's the cycle you're closing here. So when we say you're closing a cycle, it often means that you're moving to a new phase in your life. So you could have been single for a while. You could have been maybe, you know, tr sort of deciding not to date, deciding not to get out there because you've been working on yourself or, st or trying to, you know, maybe place yourself for what you wanted in the future. But there is a cycle closing out and this can sometimes mean that you are maybe moving to a new vibration, maybe moving to a new time in your life and closing down energies that no longer serve you. So let's have a look at what's happening here. All right, there's the cards we put away there. So I'm going to leave them there and I'm going to try and fit the reading around those. All right. And then we have the Queen of Cups. I am loving this. So we have the Lover's card coming through. We have the King of Cups coming through, who's very balanced with their emotions. We have the Queen of Cups coming through, who's very intuitive and very much a person who knows how to show her emotions and knows how to work with them. You can see she's got a foot in the water here. She's not worried about showing her emotions. But what I love is that you have the the pair coming through so whoever this person is coming in for you is a match for you and then we have the two of cups holy dooly um this is you've got a, a very strong soulmate relationship here um it's very possible that you could meet, be meeting a divine partner this is a relationship that more than likely has been um divinely guided here so you definitely have someone coming in that has a very, very close bond to you here. Wow. Okay, look at that. And there's the offer from a water sign. So almost definitely a water sign that you're dealing with. This is an offer of love. This is your knight on a white foot or a white fish. <laughs> this is the knight that comes in generally on a white horse but apparently his white horse is in the shop waiting on repairs at the moment and he's using a fish um but this is definitely somebody coming in with an offer of love okay so we have the hanged man coming through here so the hanged man is the card of sort of you know, um, looking at things from a very different perspective, really understanding that sometimes you have to look at things differently. Maybe this is a lesson you've had to learn. You know, maybe you've learned that with the people that come through with that very cold energy that you have to start to understand the sort of things like the red flags that they show or the energies that, um, that are not right for you. And maybe when someone new comes in, you're so used to, you know, interviewing people that you forget to really enjoy their company. So I feel like here that you're really being very vigilant about what you allow into your life now. Yep, yeah, because there's a mental conflict coming through. 
Okay, so there's always this feeling, you know, that when you're sort of starting out again, if you've learned a lot of lessons, you want to make sure that the lessons you've learned have taught you how to make sure that you don't bring the wrong people in for you again. This person that you're bringing in is just incredibly, uh, incredibly together. They are not only emotionally sound, this is a person who's got their life sorted. They really are standing in their own power. They're being a leader in their own life. They know what they want. But what's beautiful is this person is just so passionate about what they want. If you look at the look on his face, he's full of desire. All right. And then we have the tower. Of course we do. So the tower here, I would think, is quite, is quite a sign that you know, what you believed, maybe you were thinking you wouldn't, you know, get to this point with someone, maybe you thought somebody wouldn't come in for you, maybe you felt that love had passed you by, maybe that you've real, realising that the lessons that you've learned through the hanged man are really serving you here. Something is breaking down here in order for you to move forward on this relationship. And look at this. So we have a very, very strong feeling that this person coming through has been karmically or destined to meet with you. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. This person is meant for you. They have been sent in because you asked for them. She's got a pomegranate in her hand. I've never noticed that before. So definitely we're talking about deep, meaningful love, a deep, meaningful relationship. And look what's come up at the end. Wow, such a beautiful reading. So we have the Empress coming through. This person's going to make you feel, well, not make you feel, because you're with this person. The things they say and do will make you feel the most amazing version of yourself that you've ever had. You're really stepping into your true power here and becoming the person that you were meant to be. This is what love does. It doesn't tear away at you. It doesn't walk away from you. It doesn't, you know, um, send you the wrong messages. It certainly doesn't withhold from you. It gives. And many of you I'm reading for here have not experienced this before. So something very, very beautiful is coming your way. Whoever this person is, they're very ready to love. Okay, so for your angel cards here romance angel cards we've got the card of romantic feelings coming through it says your feelings are real and worth exploring here and then behind that we have separation now i don't want you to jump at the separation thing because sometimes we think separation is about um you know not being with someone but the thing is with separation sometimes we can have feelings of separation when we first meet someone that may come from those feelings that we've experienced in other relationships. So those feelings of abandonment or rejection, um, attachment, those sort of feelings. And sometimes we can experience those. And I feel what's happening here is you may go through this energy of going backwards and forwards between these two energies, trying to sort through. Maybe that's why we have the hanged man in the tower here. Maybe you're trying to sort through previous feelings you may have done a lot of work to, you know, rid yourself of baggage, but sometimes the fear of, you know, somebody not wanting to stay around, especially if you've been dealing with the fear that came through with that seven of swords here, like someone ghosting you or deserting you. So you may sort of have feelings of this separation, but I really feel very strongly with this romantic feelings that this person's staying around for the long haul. Okay, this card here, ah, oh, this card here says, this answers your question. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So I feel that they're saying to you here, even though you may experience some feelings of insecurity, stick with it. Stick with it. This person is going to love you like you're the empress. They are the person you've been waiting for. The other card we have here, it says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So very, very strong feelings coming through for this person. 
Um, it's also possible you, because you have such a strong soulmate connection that you may have been separated in a past life or have some feelings of separation coming through from past lives. Always possible in these sort of relationships. But I have everything here to say that this is, you know, divinely guided. We had the lovers and the two of cups here. Um, but some sort of feeling that you have to close things down before you can move forward. So maybe you are at the moment experiencing, you know, some sort of um, breakup from someone else, some sort of separation from someone else. So, but this is very, very near here. This is very new energy and it's in your energy now. Have a wonderful day.